Today we're going to talk about clitoral orgasms and all of the pleasure a clitoris can have. For me, the clitoris has so much to do with psychological arousal. Like, if you want to talk to my clit, firstly, you have to sneak up on her. Not just go yeah. jabbing at her right away. And, um, and I think it's really different. Like, I understand that for men, a lot of times, they're ready for their, for their cock to be touched right away. Like, they're like, and oh, I here say, we go. Like, one hand on the cock. <laughs> if you're being a lover to a man, you, yeah. you probably can't touch it too soon or too often or lick it or suck it, you know, so they're ready. But I think because of that, they think that we're the same. And we so aren't <laughs> at all. Like when you first get warmed up psychologically and physiologically with your clit, it's like she starts to peek out like, ooh, something good might be happening soon. No, no, that's too soon. I'm going back in my hole, you know, and all the arousal She's drops. She's very sneaky. Yeah. The clit is very sneaky. And because so she like goes in and out. Yeah. So she needs to be snuck up on. Totally. Um, and I think that's something to, you know, teach your lovers if you, as part of your erotic empowerment and what does it mean to sneak up on it, right? Yeah. What I really, really like is when I snuck on from behind oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more. Yeah, just, right? and then just like, just as if my, my, my lover is just touching my whole body and then just like, just barely touching my pussy just a very general caress it's not targeted right away to my clip yes. at all like very general full hand caress like 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 that and then like you would goes a anywhere pussy else cat. like you would get a pussy cat <laughs> like you're trying to i don't know what like hammer something hammer something yeah. <laughs> so you start to like get this teasing feeling mm -hmm. like oh i'm going to sneak up on you but i'm not going to just focus in yet and the other ways that you sneak up is by saying sexy things, whispering sexy things in my ear, or like caressing my whole body, biting my neck, mm -hmm. you know, bite, nibbling on an earlobe. Like my clit starts to come alive when those things are happening. And I think that's what people don't realize. Yeah. I think so people foreplay yeah. is worth the investment. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. foreplay doesn't start with nipples or pussy. Foreplay is way, way before. Physically, I think it's it's going very, very slow and creating anticipation. And then when you do actually get to clitoral touch, um, again, you don't want to just, like, I think the problem is people go right to the clit by itself. And, you know, for me, I think you need to have, like, a more broad brush approach. Like, you're, you know, you're using three fingers instead of one finger, and you're not doing it, like, pointy, you're doing it, like, flat right like yeah you're gently rubbing circles or caressing or same with your tongue like you're mm, like an mm, ice cream, ice cream, cream like an ice cream <laughs> i would say that some clits are more sneaky and they do tend to kind of hide even when they're aroused so like much like taking a much more broad approach like using your whole hand and then like really like going up and down and not just like really trying to hook on it will be much more inviting for the clit to come out instead of just like run away and hide. i also like my clit kissed yeah because it's like a little whoop, yeah whoop, whoop. <laughs> before there's two and and i do think women's performance anxiety comes in when you start touching the clit too fast and and it's like you're trying to make an orgasm happen as opposed to just like i'm exploring this and i could stay here forever and it smells so good this is the attitude right and it smells so good and it tastes so good and it's so perfect that i you know it's like however long it takes i don't care i'll be down here enjoying myself exactly i feel like that's what we want to express to our partners men if you're listening that's what we want you to do for us or women oh, who like to like pussy. Oh, I'm bisexual, <laughs> so I do both. Uh, and um, and we and and it's only when you're actually when you can feel your body like clenching and moving, right? That we want for the stimulation to be more direct and constant and not get all creative. It's at that moment that we're ready for somebody to stick with their guns and really go for the orgasm. But until then, it really needs to be snuck up on. Yeah. I want to talk about the power of breath and sound uh, when you are receiving clitoral pleasure. Um, I also want to say always have some sort of stimulation on the clit. Like don't just wait for it to have, um, you know, like magical orgasm without touching the clit. The clit is the source of our pleasure. And even if we have other orgasms, the clit makes everything feel better. So yeah. So, so don't think of this like orgasm during intercourse without any other stimulation as the holy grail. It is not. In fact, it's going to probably be a less intense orgasm than if you are using your hand on your clit or if you're using your vibrator at the same time that you're getting penetrated. So 
back to sound and breath. So when you make, we tend when we get, uh, we try to squeeze this orgasm if we are a little bit in workgasm mode, we really like stop the breath. And it's good to kind of squeeze the breath and hold it a little bit, but it's really also very powerful when you release the breath and spread the sensations much more in your body. And then when you get much closer to orgasm, then it's a good time to hold the breath and keep it squeezed. But if you notice that you're squeezing, squeezing, squeezing and trying to get this orgasm, it means like you're working too hard and sex is about fun and not about working hard yeah but you definitely do usually need to squeeze your muscles yeah, yeah. I mean I know it's just like clitoral orgasm for me is like all in my legs and my thighs and I have to move them and squeeze them and they need to be free to move and and um, squeeze as they please um, and if you like what we said here please subscribe to our channel next time we're gonna talk to you about the g-spot pleasure and everything that's surrounding it